Good morning, good morning again. It's a glorious and wonderful day to know Jesus. And a glorious and wonderful end to 2022 and coming of 2023, which we could argue that the date means nothing, or we could argue that it's very important and prophetic, or we could not argue at all and just rejoice in the Lord. And I'm going to rejoice because good things are coming. Every day is good. To know that God loves you. Amen. Let's read this morning <clears throat> out of 1 John 1, where it says, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon and our hands have touched, concerning the word of life. The life was revealed, and we have seen it and testify to it, and announce to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was revealed to us. They're talking about Jesus specifically. And Jesus is called the Word of Life. He is the eternal life. Eternal life comes through Him, and He is the Word of Life. Now, we also call this the Word, things that have been recorded. And when God speaks to our hearts, the rhema, the spoken word by the Holy Spirit, or by the Lord to our hearts, or in prophecy, or in other, any other way, they call the Word of God. It's the Word of God, and he also calls it the Word of Life. God's Word brings life. It says, uh, I think in John 1, In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. In God there is light, and there is no darkness. There is life, and there is no death. God is all about bringing us life. Amen. I find it a little, uh, I, I don't know, it's kind of f f fitting, like how I stumbled there. It's fitting almost how much the world is, get, get fixated on death because they all they see is the natural thing. You know, they call it the circle of life, but when they talk about the circle of life, they mean things die and they kill each other so that other things can live. And that is a natural thing. And I'm grateful that though something dies, new things come to life. But God's desire and his plan is not death. His desire and his plan is life and life eternal. And he comes with his word to bring us life. So as we come from 2022 to 2023, let's come full of life. Let's come through realizing that God's word will bring us life. And in him we live and we move and we have our being. That his words bring us life. We live by every word that proceeds out of his mouth. He doesn't hold back any word from us. And not a single one of those words brings death. They bring us life so that we may live in him and be pleasing to God and spread that gospel. Spread the goodness of God and his life to all this world. Amen. Be blessed.